<laughs> Good evening everyone and welcome back to the Minecraft Travel channel. So um as you see there's been a lot of progress. Um we have highways, have more roads. There's a downtown, but today I want to show you the rest of Grand Central Hunter College. The reason why I've never showed you that is because it's strictly due to the fact that it um, wasn't finished. It was there last time I took, gave you a tour, but we didn't finish yet. This is the train yard associated with Grand Central Hunter College. I have not named this train yard yet. Um, this is a training facility right behind this wire here. It's a training facility for train operators, so it teaches them how to use various switches on the tracks. The, the two tracks here, track safety, and then these train people on announcements in the station. So this is a training facility. This is the runaway train slot. So anytime there's a runaway train, we will redirect the train into the slot. This big square and this other bigger square has not yet been determined. So this yard or this garage here is for our all of our north and southbound DLR lines. Every time I go inside that happens. North and southbound DLR lines and east and westbound BRT lines. This is for our north and southbound BRT lines and North east and westbound DLR lines. This is bigger because obviously north and southbound. While east west only has doesn't have much, and then there's another yard associated with it. We have two yards. We have Montague Yard, and then we have um the Hamilton Yard, which that's a proposed name, but um yeah. So now let's go to the main entrance, and that is going to show how, in fact, we get, you know, the station. So this is the Grand Central Hunter College Station. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this parking lot and this entrance, but there has been a remodel. You can still catch the bus there. You can take the elevator through there. The elevator is broken right now, so these should be closed. And now if you go downstairs, we have officially decided to make this our um, public transit headquarters building. This wing right here. So these are all the offices, meeting rooms. If you go down here, this is a break room for all the drivers. Since this station carries almost everything. Go down one more flight of stairs. You're going to have more offices. Um, emergency exit. But however, if you come this way, all DLR passengers typically are going to come through this entrance. And there are some DLR tracks here, but fare gates are going to get put up here. You will not be able to just come in and go straight upstairs. You will have to come to this desk right here, the ticket office, and you will have to purchase a ticket. So once a ticket has been purchased, you will then wait in one of these chairs until your train is called. Because the DLR does not run frequently like um, other trains. Maybe some parts of the day they do. Usually they don't. They run every 30 minutes every hour in the middle of the night, every two hours, um, there's only one between the hours of 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. So you can wait down there or you can wait on the platform. And there's even more waiting area out here. So pretty much wherever you want to wait. There's a restroom at the bottom of every stairwell. So this is the DLR. It brings people in from out of state, meaning people that has never been to the state, been to the city. This is their first contact with the city and the state. 
This is why we've put a lot of work into making it look real good. Um, I also want to show you the DLR tracks. Because the, all the hallways start to look the same after a while. One thing that's different about DLR is that the platform doors are higher. Instead of only being two, it's three. Reason for this, um, everyone uses the station. It gets real crowded. Despite the widening of the platform, it can get super crowded. I've seen this myself. Where your people are literally getting pushed and shoved onto the tracks. So people are just pitching each other onto the tracks. Yes, I said pitch, P-I-T-C-H, not the other one. So this is what a DLR tunnel looks like. It looks so much more different than your um, other, you know, the BRT tunnel. BRT tunnels just have two tracks. Here is it gets more interesting. The train runs on the brown. This is a walkway. And then, of course, if there's an emergency with the train, you can walk down the tunnel. People who work for the train service... They are usually going to be climbing um, up here or up here in, when you're in the station where you have no choice because as you look, these tracks are hot tracks, meaning if you walk on them, you will get burned. So that's really it for DLR. Um, there's something interesting I would like to show you. So... We're going to go ahead and fly because if we keep going, we're going to run out of time. I try to keep these videos 10 minutes. So as you know, this is all it. The BRT side has not changed. One thing that's interesting about Hunter College Station is that we now have a McDonald's. It's the middle of the night, so that's why it's dark. However, um, we do, this one does not have a drive-thru. I probably shouldn't be in here, but there goes the one and only manager. So, there are different things that happen in here. All the McDonald's are built the same way, so... This is would be the cash booth of the drive through Some stoves. Dish area to wash the dishes. Um, cash registers. The serving booth for the food, drink machine. If you've ever been to a fast food restaurant before... This is the basement. Don't know what they're cooking. There's nobody here. So you store everything. These are the so-called tanks that McDonald's store their Coca-Cola in. Yes, we don't. They don't use plastic bags. They use tanks. This is the vault or the money room, and then this is gonna be a break room. But in some stores, it's an emergency exit. This is the freezer and the refrigerator. So. That's a very interesting thing about the new updates in this station. We also even have the kiosk machines menu. So that's very interesting. Where these white squares are in above ground locations, these would be windows, just so you know. So that's very interesting about um, the new update in Grand Central Hunter College Station. It... Um... Basically, has more restaurants. As you know, there was a police fight in here the other day. So this bar, the doors are gone because there were so many bullets in the door. So there's been a shooting there. There's even been talk of adding more police, but that's a topic for another episode. As you know, I am Travel, and this is Minecraft.Travel. I am in the empty Hunter College station. Have a good day and may God bless you.